What's going on, Nerd Nation? This is Sleeve Card signing in and welcoming you back to another episode of Ultra Moon Z Lock right here on the channel. We are all the way up to episode numero ocho. That is right, number eight. Last episode, you guys, uh, if you missed it, of course, the links are down below. But last episode, we finally took on our very first uh, trial captain. Take it on to big old chunky cheek, a lowland totem radicate. Of course, which we came out victorious. But if you want to check that out, like I said, links are down below. Uh, so you can kind of see it, relive it, and get all caught up. But in today's episode, you guys, we are trucking forward. Uh, we're out on Route 3. And just after we defeated the trial, uh, defeated the totem Pokemon, all that good stuff, we were told that Lily has gone missing. Uh, so we have been tasked by Kakui and Alima to see if we can find her. So she is somewhere out here, presumably... But before we get into all of that, let's take a quick party recap, because for the first time, the first time since this uh, lock began, we actually have a new party member. So first and foremost, we still have good old Pennywise the Poplio. Pennywise is currently at 16, rocking out Aqua Jet, Water Gun, Icy Wind, and Disarming Voice. And hold on to that Quick Claw, because it is lacking, lacking in the crack lacking speed. But... Of course, we have our newest team member, the one, the only, Warren the Spiro. Uh, now, at the end of the last episode, you guys, I said I was going to try and grind up and get up to, like, level 15 or something. I decided against that just because, you know, we do have a little bit of ways to go before the Kahuna. We've got, like, another route and probably some more battles and all that good stuff. So I kind of wanted to give us the maximum opportunities to get as many encounters as possible. And then if we need to grind up once our team's kind of shaped up a little bit. Uh, then I'll do that before the Kahuna. But Warren, uh, is Warren the girl, but Warren, uh, with Growlier, Pursuit, and Fury Attack. Now, I did give Warren the Normalium Z between episodes, only because we didn't really have a good hold item. It was, it really, it was like the Normalium Z, um, Silk Scar for Fury Attack, and, or like an Orin Berry. There was not a lot of good items. I guess Orin Berry might have been a little better. But we're going with Normalium Z. And I do want to put... Wait, what? No. No. What am I doing? Y. Okay. I'm so used to hitting A when playing these games. But no. We're going to put Warren up front. That way we can get some a little bit of experience. See what we can kind of get done here. Nope. Dodge that. Now, let's get on trucking. Oh. I was trying to see how many of these I could avoid. But I believe that we run across Lily up uh, I forget what it's called like the Mele Mele is it Mele Mele Meadow I don't know it's like field meadow whatever it is let's see if we can get out of here we couldn't get away come on I hate doing this because I don't really want to grind up against this there we go it's like I don't want to grind up against these Spiro because that's just boring and two oh there's an item uh, I was going to say, and two, there's just no purpose in kind of wasting time on Spiro versus Spiro. Oh, again. <laughs> like Spiro v. Spiro battles. Oh, a Vullaby. I forgot. There are, there are Vullaby and Braviari, I think, on this route. But I'm definitely gra glad that we got... We're not Braviari. Uh, Rufflet. That's what I mean. Same Same line. I'm actually glad that we got Warren instead of a running across Vullaby, though, because Vullaby, of course, we couldn't use yet. That's a trainer. What do you want? Do your Pokemon know any moves that can restore HP in battle? There's this move called Roost, you see. If you'd like to know about it, more about it, why don't you show me you can defeat every trainer on Route 3 first? Ooh. Roost actually would be solid. Um. Ooh. I'll tell you what, so we'll we'll beat this episode, I'll finish this episode, and then before the beginning of ne next episode, here's what I'll do. I'll do a quick, uh, like, speed through. Oh, there's a team over there, too. I'll do a quick speed through just so we can get Roost, because Roost would definitely, Roost would definitely work well on our team for Warren. She's no trainer, yeah, so I don't think she could have gotten too far on her own. Alright, so we went too far. Um, obviously, Rotom Dex is telling us to go down in here, which is the meadow. 
Yeah, Mele Mele Meadow, a paradise where Ori Corio dance. What and the Ori Corio on this island, I believe, are the pom pom ones, like the electric ones. I'm not 100%. I think they are because the the flowers are yellow. Nebby, Nebby, come back. Uh, sleeve, Nebby, it got out of my bag again. Oh, he's all the way over there. But why would it want to go in that cave? And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use in battle. I mean, it doesn't need moves. It's got that giant splash explosion thing. Wait, what? If you want to train your Pokemon, you're going to want to use Roto Experience Points. Whoa, what is this? Wait, we receive extra experience points now? It just automatically dropped that on us? Is this supposed to be so we can tell, like, so we can test it out? I'm very confused. I mean, I don't... I guess we're gonna do some battling, because I don't want to waste that. My girlfriend escaped somewhere. Let's see if we can find something uh, worth battling. But we do have our first encounter, so there is something we are gonna battle right here. <laughs> a Metapod, of course. Of freaking course. I wish, honestly, I wish we had gotten uh, Grubbin, or not Grubbin, if we had gotten Caterpie on like Route 1, because then we could just avoid this. But it does look like we're gonna run across M Metapod. So, you know, uh, just a nice beefy Butterfree if we want it. Let's try Stab Fury Attack. Let's see what Fury Attack will do. No, it's plus one. Oh, that does that does more than Pursuit did. Try okay, let's go for another one. Even though it's plus two, like we'll just this will actually help because we can whittle it down pretty easily. Like <laughs> Harden's nice, but it's also kind of obnoxious when you're running up against it. Two let's hit for like a five, buddy. Come on. Everything's twos and threes with you. Warren, I cannot have this kind of action. Like, we need fives. We need fours and fives. One. Come on. Come on, buddy. Two. All right, now this is just being annoying. Because he, at this point, he's what? At like plus five, plus four, plus five. Two. Can you break through once? Just break through once. That's all I'm asking. Break through one time and get like a... F oh, and you miss. Come on. All I'm asking is a five. One, two. Come on, do it for us. Do it for us, Warren. Three. All right, you know what? Oh, come on. Now you're going to call for help right when I'm about to throw a freaking ball at you so I don't have to mess around. Okay, thank... Thank goodness. Thank goodness that help did not appear. But hopefully, I mean, this is an evolved Pokemon, so in theory, we should get some decent experience here. Plus with the Roto experience whatever boost. I mean, we got half a level, and that's not bad for, you know, one Pokemon that we're catching. Um, okay, so what should we name this? So it's gonna be a female. Let's see, let's see what we have for submitted nicknames. The problem the problem I'm having, guys, is, is you guys need to submit more female nicknames. Everything's like a male, like, Mr. Tumnus. Or it's like, it's just like some male-oriented nickname that seems weird, like Warren. Um. Okay, so we are going to name you Flitzy. And I'm going with that one just because. Oh, come on. Get a little sensitive here. Uh, I'm going with Flitzy because obviously it's going to evolve in theory, so we won't be stuck with just a Metapod. 
Now, does somebody want to battle me? Does anyone want to battle? Because I don't want to waste these roto boosts. I would have much rather a cutie fly. Come on. I would have much rather a cutie fly than the freaking uh, Metapod. Ooh, Absorb. I feel like we'll get less experience. Go for one more Fury Tank. Like, still, still to this point, we have not surpassed a three on Fury Tank. Is there something I'm missing? Like, did they nerf it down so it's got some very... Oh, here we go. One more, one more. Woo! All right, we'll just go for the Pursuit here. Struggle bug. Not, I was like, should not do anything. Lowers our special attack that we're not going to use. That's fine. And then, can I do the Pokemon whatever pet thing? Oh, I can. Yes. Go for that. Let's get rid of this paralysis real quick. Level 13. Um. So what I kind of remember from Spiro is that at level 15. Oh, she looks so sad. At level 15 is when... Dusting off sand, wiping off dirt, grooming... Status, there we go. Uh, is that level 15 should be when... She learns Aerial Ace. Come on. Which would be nice... If we can get to that point before we run into Hala. You know, because having Aerial Ace and having Disarming Voice would definitely set us up pretty nicely, I feel like. Oh, so happy. All right, let's go. Let's get back into it. He's looking for me. All right, whatever. You know what? I don't think anyone actually does want to battle, so let's just go. Let's go deal with Nebby. Who went over here, I believe? I know he went to the cave, but I don't know which portion he went into. Or, like, where where in the meadow it was. Alright, I'm just gonna run from you. I don't want to deal with this. I was so excited that we... About the experience boost, we ran around. But then... Like, I'm not that excited. Seaward Cave. Okay, so we can actually get another encounter right here. And we have the escape rope, so I guess that would help. Oh, Nebby! Pew! Nebby. Nya, nya, nya. An elusive target, indeed. Hmm. Solaria. Take this one. I would also like to check the functionality of that Pokeball we tried making in the image of the devices used by these Alolan people. Now that we have successfully succeeded in using them to capture an Alolan Pokemon spec- Oh, they have a Pokemon? They have a Pokemon? Oh, we're gonna battle them. Okay. I knew- I remember we got to battle her, but, like... What kind of face is that? It's not even a battle face, that's like... Someone surprised you, uh... With, like, a shock collar or something. And of course she has Furfro. Like, I couldn't get a Furfro, but she has a Furfro. So, what I think is the smartest play for us... Is to just swap into Pennywise... Uh, knowing that we can't do a lot of damage with our physical attacks because of fur coat. Ooh, a headbutt. Um, 18, 18. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm going to go for the Icy Wind. Oh, yeah, because he outspeeds. We're going to go for the Icy Wind so we can hopefully get that... We'll get the speed drop. Hopefully that'll let us outspeed. Go for a water gun here. Now we're gonna have to heal because that headbutt's gonna hurt. Okay, now we're healing. This is interesting. I was not expecting. Yeah, let's go straight in for this. I was not expecting a uh, battle right here, but this actually should be decent experience because it's level 13. It is a quality mod that we're facing. Um. There we go. We're going to go Disarming Voice because it doesn't miss. 
I was trying to figure out, I was like, do we have something that's just gonna be guaranteed? So we'll go for the dar disarming voice so we don't have to deal with all these sand attacks. Even more so now. Even more so now that we're at, like, minus two. So let's see, if we start spamming disarming voice, hopefully she doesn't have a potion. Hmm. Alright, we gotta heal again. The one downside... Oh, the one thing I'm not liking about us having started with Pennywise... Like, don't get me wrong, I love Pennywise. We're eight episodes in, Pennywise has definitely done the finest, kept us alive this whole time. But it's so frail. Like, just so frail. Maybe I should have gone with a couple growls from... from Warren before we switched. But it's too late to worry about that now. And I don't think we can do, like, even if we went out, I don't think uh, Warren would have been able to take a hit. Because Warren was already kind of weakened. But we will get some experience if, 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 if we can pull this out, we can get some experience on Warren and on Pennywise, which would be beautiful. Quick Claw pop popping, pop popping. Oh, yeah, yeah. What does fresh water do? 30? That'll bring us up to 42. Yeah, we're gonna go fresh water. I said the potions aren't doing enough for us right now. But now we we definitely need to go buy some some medicine stuff before I take on Hala. Because like I said, these these guys are way too frail. Oh, and that was my oh, that was my only fresh water. Because we got it for the trial, I think. But the quick claw is popping like crazy! Putting in the finest will work, Pennywise. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I would say we could, we are gonna hit, or we can hit again. It's gonna do 20. It'll do 10. Ooh. All right, we're gonna have to do the 20 here, and then heal up again next turn, and just kind of slowly heal back up. Yeah, because it's not doing. Say, disarming voice isn't doing enough for us to get the KO guaranteed, so we can't run that risk. Um, just I wish she'd stop using headbutt. Like if she went in for a. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 I'm not dealing with that. Pennywise is our best bet. If we lose Pennywise, we're in some trouble. Yeah, if she went for a, a sand attack, then after we potion up, then I would definitely just disarming voice and hopefully, and then go again. But the way it's kind of working out... Oh my god. And Headbutt, I think, has a boosted chance to, to crit, too. We're gonna use up all our potions just trying to hang on here. Like, just waiting for the right opportunity. Growl, okay, okay. This is something we can play off of. Alright, that's fine. Lower, lowers the attack. That's okay. That's okay. We we'll go for the disarming voice, and hopefully it does at least half of what's left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So headbutt. All right, we're we're hitting first. We're hitting first, so we're gonna go with disarming voice again because it doesn't miss. Come on, pull through. Mmm. Pennywise in the clutch, beating down that puppy. <laughs> Oh, we should evolve right here. That would be so nice. If we get Brion. Pennywise going up. Warren. Warren got a level. Fighting together with your Pokemon. It is not something we had considered ourselves. She looks like a, a depressed marionette doll. <laughs> and I only get $156? Come on. Alright, so Pennywise is going to evolve. Oh, let's just watch it. Watch it happen, people. Do, do, do. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look how cute she is. Pennywise evolving into Brion. Now, do we get the Stab Fairy, though? That's what, that's what I want to see right here. Stab Fairy will be beautiful. It's like she's just celebrating. Ha! Ah! 
The only issue I have is Poplio. Like, Poplio definitely looks like a little boy, and like a little boy clown, and Brion's definitely like a little girl. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, so we're still just pure water. Um, I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world, but I was kind of hoping for the fairy type so we get that stab, disarming voice. But, you know, we'll work with what we got. It attacks by smacking its enemies with the exploding water balloons it creates. Ooh, do we get Bubble Beam then? Bubble Beam? No, not yet. I see. So that is what a Pokemon battle is. I suppose if there are strong trainers like yourself around, we may not need to play any greater role in this endeavor. So then, we do not need to bother with the girl, I assume. That one you have come to collect. You must know that it is able to warp away in an instant when threatened. You should remember, though, that the holes that are created when it does so leave a path open to dangerous beings. Boop, boop, boop. And the effect power wore off just, just as we're done. Okay, um... Ooh, there's an item over here. We should be able to get an encounter in here, so let's see if we can get the encounter. Yes, yeah, so we'll get the encounter. Um. Oh, Zubat. Well, it is what it is, so we're gonna go with Zubat. Uh, let's just go for the pursuit. I don't want to deal with Zubat too much and all supersonic-y annoying stuff. At least, <laughs> at least we are immune to Astonish. Look at you, look at Warren putting in the work. Avoiding everything. Supersonics. Astonishes, whatever it is. It don't bother Warren. Warren ain't having none of that. Alright, we have captured Zubat. Now, Zubat, I have a go-to nickname. We gotta name all our Zubats. And if you guys have been on the channel for any amount of time, then you know what's going down. We are about to see Edvar the Zubat, uh, going back to our Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Edvar, uh, Edvar made all the way up to a Crobat in Heart Gold, and then did not, like the rest of our team, did not make it to the end, but definitely was a, a key member, uh, heading through most, most of Johto. So let's see what it says here. Their skin is so th their skin is so thin that they'll be burned if sunlight hits them. When it is cold out, they gather together to warm one another's bodies. That's very sweet. I mean, it's kind of sucky that their the sunlight would burn them. Makes me feel bad because you know we're going to be using. Well, we're playing Moon, so we don't got to worry about it too much. But if we were playing Sun and we got to send this bad boy out in the daylight, that would just be cruel. So cruel. Edvard is on the party, but is really going in the box. So, anything else around here? I mean, any cool items? Let's see. Ah! Oh, Psyduck. Psyduck would have been interesting, because uh, we could have used him once we got the Watrium Z, which is, like, the first... I think it's the first Z-Crystal we get on the next second island. You know, I'm not going to explore this too much, um, only because I plan on coming back. Before we leave the island, I am going to do a quick, like, speed through where I'll, I'll battle all the trainers and go through all the whole island, all that stuff, so, you know, I'll save all that for then. Just because I, for, for this, where we're, we're doing commentary and we're kind of hanging out, I definitely want to kind of speed through the story and focus more on the story and the, and the main plot points. Oh, you! Pew! You. Thank you, Sleeve. And I should thank Spiro, too. Here, let me at least do this. Oh, is she gonna heal us? Heal us up! Let it rain down. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyways. Pew! Back into the bag, please, Nebby. 
I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. And I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. So you weren't missing it. You weren't lost at all. You just walked off like a jerk. Hey, Sleeve. Oh, and Lily's with you, too. What are you up to, Hal? I just finished my trial. <laughs> hey, Sleeve. I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Oh! <laughs> What a heart. Okay, so we're going straight from straight from Ultra Recon Squad into How. Oh. Oh no, and we're starting with Spiro too. Oh, come on. What is this? What is this? So he's got level 13. Okay, and you know this is Ace. So, let's go ahead and swap real quick because I'm still I'm still going to hold on to type advantage wherever possible. But if that's his ace, then I feel like his Pichu has got to be like 11 or 12. And then I wonder what, like, what is his third mod? So it's got to be something we've encountered, of course. But what's something that we've encountered that he would have? <laughs> and with the one shot, even though we're four levels higher, like still, one shotting him is hilarious. Pikachu. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We actually have nothing this good on Pikachu. Warren's terrible for Pikachu. Pennywise is not good for Pikachu. Um, I'm going to go for the Icy Wind. Oh, I was just saying, I'm going to go for the Icy Wind. I hope he doesn't, like, Thundershock us. So we'll go Icy Wind. Ooh, that does half, and it gets the speed drop. So hopefully... Hopefully we outspeed. Oh, we do. All right, all right. Never mind, never mind. I was so concerned that he was gonna like thunder. I, it would have to be thunder shock. He wouldn't have thunderbolt at this point, but thunder shock would have been annoying. Pennywise all the way up to 18, so we're definitely gonna lean on Spiro. I feel like for for the next couple episodes, he's got a noy bat. That fool has got a noy bat. Only reason I'm staying is because obviously icy wind is you know four times effective here. But come on now, a noy bat? That's ridiculous little jerk. I would love to have a Noibat, but the problem with that, the, I would love to have a Noibat, but the problem with that is, uh, we don't get the Dragonium Z Crystal until, like, the very, very end. And I'm pretty sure it's Dragon Flying and not Flying Dragon. So you and, so you and, so you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, slave? Looks like we're gonna get, we're getting pretty strong. And I'm not stopping now. I'm going to use this momentum to beat my old gramps, too. Hey there, Sleeve. Knew I could count on you, yeah? Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this, then? How? You finished your first trial, too? I bet you used some styling moves, yeah? <laughs> yeah. All thanks to Litton. Hal is probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah. After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's kahuna. Taking on the island kahuna in a battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. Now it is time to take on the Kahuna himself. That is right, Rotom Dex. Wait, do you, what are you doing? Do you have anything? Should see this place during the day. Oh, you want to battle. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and save today's episode right here. On the waterfall I know it's a little short uh, but what I want to do is between this episode and next episode I want to clear this route so we can get roost and then once I have my hands on roost we can teach it over to Spiro and just rock out up against uh, the island kahuna so the next episode you guys we are gonna be taking on Hala Hala at your boy Hala uh, and hopefully winning and getting more Z-Crystals and expanding the team and all that good stuff. 
But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. If you are excited that we want the Recon Squad and smashed Hal, hit that thumbs up button for me down below because your support is always greatly appreciated. And thank you, as always, for supporting the series uh, the way that you guys have for the last two weeks now that we've been running it. The last eight episodes we've been running it have been killer as far as the likes, the comments, all that good stuff. So keep it up. It is greatly uh, appreciated by me. And thank you. Just thank you. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. This is Sleepcard signing out. Have yourselves a beautiful day, and I'll see you later.